Good afternoon, everyone. Two briefings ago, I asked, where is Nancy Pelosi? Today, I can announce we have found Nancy Pelosi. Um, as you can see, we found Nancy Pelosi going into her hair salon. We will be playing the video on loop for all of you to see during the duration of this introduction. Nancy Pelosi was not in the halls of Congress when I asked where she was. She was not working in good faith to make a deal for the American people. Nope, Nancy Pelosi was found in San Francisco at a hair salon where she was indoors, even though salons in California are not only open for outdoor service. Apparently, the rules do not apply to Speaker Nancy Pelosi. She wants small businesses to stay shut down, but only reopen for her convenience. Do as I say, not as I do, says Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi is holding up $1.3 trillion in relief for the American people while getting special access to the very kind of small businesses that this money would support, businesses like this hair salon. Before she skipped town to violate her state's health guidelines, Pelosi proposed a bill. It was called the HEROES Act, which contained no additional paycheck protection funding. This is funding that would help the very small business she has bizarrely accused of plotting against her. The president sees through Democrats' disregard for Americans in need, and he took action unilaterally in his own accord. Uh, he provided relief from evictions, he provided unemployment insurance, he paused student loan payments, and he cut the payroll tax, putting money in the American people's pockets. Congress also failed to authorize funding to provide children with free lunches for the 2020-2021 school year. And again, President Trump, with senior advisor Ivanka Trump, took action. And now USDA has extended a summer program which will ensure children continue to have access to free meals through the end of the year. Nancy Pelosi is demanding an apology from a single mother and small business owner who has received threats since Nancy Pelosi's comments against her salon. Salon owner Erica Kayas said this, since this happened, I've received nothing but hate text messages, death threats, saying they're going to burn down my hair salon. It's just sad that my community is pulling this, saying that I threw her under the bus when I did not. So that's hurtful. Uh, but yes, I think I'm pretty much done now. Nancy Pelosi, you ought to apologize to the American people. Or better yet, come back to Washington and get to work for hardworking Americans like this salon owner that you maligned and demanded an apology from. And with that, I'll take questions.